Okay, we're here with one of the top prospects, Vito Malaniki. Vito, yes, uh, so you're fighting December 5th yes, sir. on the um, Errol Spence, Danny Garcia mm -hmm. card. Uh, tell us about training camp and being here now with uh, Joe Goosen. It's a pretty big move. Yeah, so I mean, training camp's been going great. Um, training and just in general is amazing. I love it out in LA. Um, just can't say enough about the training camp with Joe and how much of like a different level it is than where I was at. Yeah. Um, what what do you what do you feel you're getting out of here that uh, maybe you weren't getting back home? Uh, both places are, are very rich in boxing and, yeah. and resources to get better as a fighter. Just I would say everything in general, sparring, uh, just training. It's so much more advanced, so much more on that pro next level of uh, training. So yeah, I would just say everything in general. Uh, what are you getting? Uh, what are you getting uh, to learn with uh, Joe Goosen? Was he telling you about yourself? He's uh, just making what I already have better and adding stuff on to my arsenal as well. Um, I'm a boxer puncher, and he's just tightening up everything and making me better in certain areas. Yeah. Um, how do you see the current prospect uh, picture? Uh, where, where do you think you fall amongst all these guys right now at, at 140, 40, I think you're 47. Yeah, right? um, in the prospects right now, I'm <clears> definitely <throat> at the top uh, in terms of prospects. Um, a few more, give myself two, three more years. Uh, three, three more years, I'd say. Uh, just getting better and better and better, um, and get to that next level where I want to be, where I've always wanted to be since a kid. Yeah, you're young. You're gonna obviously grow, get bigger. Uh, do you think 147 is gonna be the division for you, though? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, who knows? I mean, I would love 47 to where the dogs are at. I want to be where the dogs are at. Bigger um, names. Yeah, and um, if I could stay at 47, I would love that, but I don't think I will. Um, Sean Porter recently said something about um, how you felt the 147s could move up to 154 right now and, and, and smash that division. Mm. Do you agree with that? And if so, that'll mean that eventually there would be a 154 where you might yeah. be there waiting on some of them. Yeah. Uh, what do you make of, of the current welterweight division and then moving up to 154 and waiting for the bigger names? Yeah, so I mean, I think a lot of the 47 pounders right now are <clears throat> on a level where they could go up to 54 and win big fights. For sure, um, and you said, what would I, how would I, like, see myself if it, like... Mm -hmm. Fit into the picture, like, eventually. Yeah, future. eventually, I mean, I can't, I would love to obviously be in the 47, 54, 60 range, like, my whole career. Um, those were the top names, I, I think, I, just 30, 35, obviously, top names, 47, 54. Um, but I would love to stay in those weight classes, but I, I don't know if that's... Gonna Possible, happen just because yeah. I'm still growing. I'm still 18. You feel yourself getting bigger, growing? Like just 16? stronger, I would say. More mature. Just yeah. maturing in general. Um, I gotta ask you about the big fight that just passed, man. Javante Davis yeah. versus Leo Santa Cruz. Uh, what did you make of it heading into the fight as a fan and then what you saw the aftermath? Yeah, well, Javante Davis, that's my boy. We've been boys since I was a kid. He was always uh, older than me, obviously, but mm -hmm. always someone that I watched win as I won also mm -hmm. coming up in the amateurs. So uh, from that fight, I just took that Javante Davis got to that next level of where he wanted to be, and I think he's up there in the pound for pound list now where people didn't have him before that fight. Yeah. Did it surprise you what he was able to do that night, or was that no, what you not expected? At all. I, know, uh, I knew what, uh, what Tank is capable of doing mm -hmm. just because he hasn't even shown all of his, I think, assets yet because he's never had to show them against the guys he's been in with. Um, but I think people will soon see what he's fully capable of doing. What do you, what'd you remember the most about a young Javante Davis that stood out? Yeah. You said this guy could, could be you know, in the future something big. Obviously his power, he's always had power. Uh, he's an athlete, not many people know that, but he's a, a great athlete. Um, he's, his boxing skills in general are great, and uh, people are gonna soon see that in his coming fights. Um, how do you see him pairing up with the other other guys with um, Tofima Lopez, which is B. Lomachenko, Devin Haney, yeah. just fought a uh, 12 round fight with Gamboa, and then Ryan, who's set to step into the ring again, but yeah. he had a fight on in February. Yep. Um, I think he's at the top of the list. I think, regardless of who's there, I Tank is the, definitely at the top of the list. All the other guys are great fighters as well, and uh, all the fights that could be made in that division are all great fights and fights that fans would want to see. Um, who do you think can give him the toughest challenge, the toughest test? To be honest with you, I think all the top guys in that division are they'll fare well against each other because of their talent, how good they are. It'll so, be great fights. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. How did Devin look? 
Did you get a chance to see it? I thought Devin looked sharp. Um, like I said, I still think that Tank is the top in that division. Um, that's another great fight that the fans would love to see. Mm -hmm. Do you think Devin's getting a little bit too much criticism and people aren't taking into consideration that he had the surgically repaired shoulder? I think he was out of the ring for a year. Do you, yeah. you think they're being a little too tough on him? Well, that's just the media. I feel like all media is going to be tough on fighters. Uh, Obviously, he's showing what he's capable of doing. He's still winning. Or w he's winning uh, every time he steps in the ring. So that's all that matters. Um, that's really. I think he looked. I think I thought he looked good. Um, taking it back um, to your fight, December fifth, Ryan's fight just actually got uh, rescheduled because of COVID nineteen. Luke Campbell tested positive. Um, how have you been? Um, what kind of measures are you taking to make sure that you're ready to go come fight time? Just making sure we're around our, just our camp, basically uh, when I'm going out, obviously wear my mask, um, just taking the normal protocols that we're told to take. Yeah, um, that was a pretty big fight. Uh, Danny Garcia versus Errol Spence is a pretty big fight. Yep. Um, what, what do you expect from that fight and how do you think COVID-19 is um, impacting this fight? This is the second fight with uh, live audience, Spence, I think. Yep. So it's, it's a pretty big uh, yep. opportunity for everyone on the card. So. Um, I don't think, I mean, if you're training, you're, if you're getting your training and that's all that matters, the COVID-19, obviously you got to take protocols, not having as many people around you during your training camp as you usually would. Um, I think it's a great fight, another great fight for the fans. I don't really know who's, I couldn't really tell you. I love that fight. I think that fight's full of action, full of excitement. Did you get a chance to see the press conference yesterday? The virtual one? Yeah. yeah, I saw Angel, somehow Angel got a little... Snap that one yeah, out of the yeah. reporter. Yeah. Have you ever felt like snapping out a reporter? No, nah, I mean, I'm... Cool, calm, collected. I just, I'm here just to work. That's it. Um, what do you think is gonna separate them if it comes down to it? I know um, Spence mentioned something about uh, I'm a mf -er about it or yeah. I'm a dog about it when yeah. it comes down to the championship yeah. rounds. Um, what, what do you think is gonna separate them if it comes down to the last four rounds? I think that's what who's the who's a dog. I think obviously punching power is gonna stand a big factor in the fight. Um, Danny obviously has that, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Who knows? Yeah. Is there um, any pressure for you to perform, or is it just just another fight? Uh, I've been doing this my whole life. I mean, yeah. I've I've been on the biggest levels in the amateurs. I've been on huge cards already in my career, thanks to Al Heyman. Um, just do what I do best and go out there and perform. Uh, looks like Al Heyman's gonna pull in Canelo maybe for yeah, a fight yeah. or two, man. How yeah, big would that be for for him to? Uh, obviously, yeah. Obviously, Al has had all the top fighters in the game for the longest time. Um, I think that's where Canelo could get the bigger fights that he wants. Definitely over with PBC and Al Heyman. Mm -hmm. um, what do you make of everything that was going on with Canelo? Just as a fan, now he's back. Yeah. You could possibly end up on one of his yeah. cards, maybe uh, right under the cold main event or yeah. something. You know, that'll yeah. be big for a young fighter oh, like himself. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, uh, I would love to fight on the Canelo card. Obviously, he's one of my favorite fighters. Um, obviously, there was speculation about him fighting Caleb Plant. Uh, it's another great fight, but. Yeah, I would love to be on one of his cards. That would be that would be cool. What do you like about Canelo? Just everything about him. He's no matter what level he's at, whether he was just starting or he, where he's at now, he's always been the hardest worker in the room, and I think that's what separates him from other fighters in the world. What's the best division for him in your eyes? He, he can go from 160 to even 175. I think he's great at any division. I think he's got the power. I think he's got the skill for any division. The speed, the athletic ability. I think he can fight at any division he wants to. Can you share a little bit of your interactions with Al Heyman, if you've had any personally? Yes, Al Heyman, obviously he's behind closed doors. Uh, he obviously does right by all of his fighters, and he's uh, the best in the game. Um, did, did he give you any kind of advice when uh, getting to know Just, him or anything? He's, uh, he's doing right by me, that's why I, I can't ask much more of what he's doing for me, he's the best. Um, this year was kind of slow for just about every fighter. Um, looking into next year after this fight, what what, what do you have as goals or plans? Uh, just keep getting better and better. I'm still young. Uh, my team's gonna move me right the right way and uh, get me where I want to be. Is there is there a goal next year? Maybe prospect of the year or something? Or if that have yeah, obviously yeah, that would be great. Would love to have that on my resume. Um, but. Like I said, just keep excelling in the gym, keep excelling in the ring whenever I get in there, and uh, just keep stacking those Ws. Is there a fighter during this time that has stood out for you just as a fan that you said um, he's, he's done a lot for his career this year? It's been very hard for every fighter. Yeah, um, I mean, I just think I, 
take notes from all the guys at the top. They're all staying in the gym and staying ready, so when they get their call, uh, they are ready. And um, just like that, Canelo, he's been staying ready, so if he wanted to fight in December, he, he can. He could go, yeah. yeah. he could go. So I think just looking at all the top guys and seeing them stay ready so they don't have to get ready. Um, how was this year for you? And I think you're from New York. It got a little crazy Jersey, out there yeah. with the COVID. How, how, how was that for you, and, and how did things turn out for you now? Um, yeah, obviously it was crazy in Jersey to shut down um, all around the world. But in Jersey, there was all, uh, like, you had to be in the house at a certain time at one point, like, and all that. But uh, just just working, uh, whether I was on my own or at the gym or with a trainer. Now I'm out here training with Joe Goosen. And uh getting the highest level of training possible. So um, I'm grateful for where I'm at and I'm, I know where I want to be, so I'm going to keep working. What do you tell all your fans, uh, supporters back home and uh, last message and yep. tell them where to follow you on social media? Yeah, so uh, just stay tuned. Big news coming. Obviously, I'm fighting December 5th. Tune in. Uh, it's going to be a great card, not just with me on it, but obviously the great main event and all the other fights on it. Um, follow me on Instagram at Vita Malnicki. Follow me on Twitter at Vita Malnicki Jr. And just stay tuned. All right, cool.